How do we avoid doing things we'll, reg we'll regret? All right, that's the question for this episode. And welcome to my channel, y'all. I'm Thomas, and I do educational videos. Uh, right now, we're working on a um, unit on the tree of life. And uh, I've been doing 144 uh, separate videos on short videos on the tree of life um, minor aspects. Uh, so this is the fractalized tree of life. If you'd like to get uh, the whole list compiled, um, just uh, click the link in the description. And I'll send you a copy of that for free. It's really an annotated list and it'll help you as you can go through these videos and you'll be able to compare and contrast and see all of them in front of you and you know um, be able to have the whole um, to refer to. And uh, if you need an intro to the Tree of Life, just watch my video called Tree of Life, a short introduction, or else Tree of Life, an introduction. And that should get you up to speed to be able to comprehend everything in this video. Now, uh, we're looking at number 22 today. How do we avoid doing things we'll regret? Now, this here is uh, within the ninth sphere. So if we recall, the night sphere is really our uh, domestic consciousness. This is, uh, you know, when we are born in the home, or when we're brought home, you know, just after we're born, uh, we are in a heightened state of receptivity. Everything is new. We are young uh, up until, you know, age seven or something. Um, we're young and we are very influenced by our caregivers who we're devoted to, the ones who nurture us, and we stare at them and we pick up their, uh, their mannerisms. And we learn to imitate those um, different manner, mannerisms, whether it's walking or talking or eating or however they, whatever they do. And uh, we practice. So we imitate and we practice or we repeat until we memorize, okay? So that's really the cycle of learning here at the ninth sphere. Uh, heightened receptivity of, to those who we are uh, devoted to, and then uh, imitation, and then repetition, and then memorization. And then within the ninth sphere, again, what we're doing is fractalizing. We take the whole tree, all 12 of the aspects of consciousness, and we shrink it down and we apply it to just the ninth sphere or just the seventh sphere or whatever. In this case, the ninth sphere. And so we're talking about the mini, the second sphere within the ninth sphere. And the second sphere is about uh, the oracle being able to see into the future or anticipate. Uh, it's the uh, omniscience, wisdom, uh, all wisdom and wisdom is really being the ability to solve problems and um, so though that is kind of like the mini aspect within this night sphere so those are the relevant spheres for this particular fractal number 22 uh, which is called anticipate remorse stage number 22 is about taking our nascent remorse and applying it preemptively to uh, other behavior so that we do not commit the act at all and do not have to feel remorseful. Now, uh, if you remember a couple days ago, we did number 20, number 20, which is the fourth, uh, um, it was actually number 19, which is the fourth fractal of the ninth sphere. That one is called remorse for transgression. So this is a carryover of, of that one, uh, remorse for transgression. So this one is called anticipate remorse. You'll be sorry, the premonition of remorse. Teach yourself to check yourself. No time to think about it. We must anticipate beforehand. Feel remorse before we have even committed the act. So we won't do it. Remorse for a transgression must be memorized by the muscles 
So then we can anticipate and avoid even doing it at all. So we can avoid the hangover, avoid the indigestion, the food coma, the food fog too. By the time they get ready to hit us with, with uh, the disease, we're not there anymore. If we must indulge, gross ourselves out, overindulging. Eat so much we get stuffed, which makes us feel so bad, maybe we won't want to do it again. Or better, just practice eating. Don't really do it, just chew it. Taste it, then spit it out. We'll get the same utility as if we really ate it. Great taste no nutrition, while avoiding mo most of the toxins. We do absorb or swallow some by accident, but a lot less, and surprisingly, we got full anyway, as we tired of chewing. Do the chewing practice. Don't just get our steps in, get our chewing reps in. Two. So, set a rule I must follow. Don't let it ring hollow. Say I'm not going to swallow, or in filth I will wallow. Like a wine taster. Spit it out. Not going to swallow. Anticipate and avoid. Look at our spittoon and be grateful the contents are not inside of us. Anticipate remorse. Okay, so that is the second fractal of the night sphere, anticipate remorse. And, uh, you know, I focus there on just one specific thing about, like, chewing your food and spitting it out. Uh, but it's, you know, more general than that, uh, just being able to recognize that you're doing something that's going to be bad for you in the future so that you don't do it at all. Um, so being able to anticipate that you're going to feel bad about this in the future. You know, avoiding your hangover by recognizing that you're going to have a hangover and so you don't do the drinking in the first place. Or at least if you do the drinking, maybe you spit it out. Um, okay, so that is uh, the gist of number 22. Hopefully I will be back here in the near future with number 23. I'm still suffering from some um, a lack of internet problems. Uh, and so that's kind of slowing down my progress here. But uh, that is supposed to be um, fixed within the next three days. So might be going a little bit slow for the next three days. But thanks anyway for tuning in to the video. Please press the like button. Uh, you can also click the link in the description if you'd like to get my free copy of the 144 Fractal Faculties Annotated. Uh, those are really mapping out uh, all these videos, the stages of life, history, cosmology, and spirituality. Uh, although those stages are not chronological, they are dramatic stages. So click the link if you'd like to get that. You can also uh, look in the description and see my Venmo and Cash App if you'd like to donate directly. And uh, please share the video with others. Subscribe to the channel and also um, make constructive comments in the comments section. Okay, hopefully we'll see you soon, and have a great day.